Welcome back to the University of Life and Motivation 101. Tips and tricks and hacks for how to get things done, make it seem easy and effortless. Today I'm gonna to tell you a story, a tip that I learned most recently from my neighbor who happens to be an ultra marathoner. He seems like a runs a marathon about every week. Although last week he only ran a 50 miler. And this tip for how to get things done is called chunking. Now I know that you th you're thinking that chunking sounds like what would happen to your food if you tried to run 50 miles, let alone five. <laughs> and it all just come right up. Ugh. But uh, that's not actually what it means. It means breaking things down into small chunks. Sometimes, you know, you're accomplishing your goal and you're seeing progress and it's so rewarding and you're like, excited and you're like, yeah, I can do it, you know, and there's value in that. But sometimes you work along and you don't seem to notice much difference, you know, maybe you go off sugar and you're waiting to have this burst of energy. You can feel like you're a toddler again, run through the living room and knock everything down and stuff. But, um, but then it doesn't happen, you know, maybe you're a little healthier, but you know, you don't feel that reward. And so that can be demotivating, can be dispiriting, or you feel like, what does it matter? Why even try? Well, that's when you need chunking. That's when you need to break it down into some small, accomplishable goal so that you're not focusing on the big picture, the far distant finish line. Instead, here's what John did, because in this race he ran last week, it wasn't through like beautiful, varied terrain like this, where you're always like, oh, look at these hills and these contours, and there goes a herd of deer, and some mountain bluebirds and stuff. Now it was just kind of like this flat area, distant mountains, so he wasn't really seeing his progress. So he had a strategy, he put on a visor, and he would just look at his feet. He'd just watch himself run along, just focus on, focusing on taking one step, step after another. Some other racer asked him at one point, said, did you see that coyote that passed about 50 feet in front of you? And he's like, no, I had no idea. This also reminds me of another one of my neighbors who once went on a 50 mile hike. This kid was not the kind of kids to do 50 mile hikes. Hadn't done a lot of that in his, in his time, in his youth. And so it was hard for him. He had blisters, you know, he was tired. Blisters on his feet, probably on his shoulders from his pack. He was sore, he was not having a good time. But his grandfather had taught him something. I remember him saying this, I was so impressed. His grandfather said, no matter how tired you get, you can always put one foot in front of the other. And that is true for you as well. So figure out what one little step is and take that step. And then when you do, reward yourself for it. Say, look, I just did that. And remind yourself that you're the kind of person who gets things done. So there you have it. Chunking one more of the well-known ways to empower yourself and motivate yourself and make it easier and easier to get stuff done. So. Visit youoflife.com slash motivation for more of these tips and tricks, some not so well known, but even more effective than that at youoflife.com slash motivation. Uh, please like our YouTube channel. I appreciate it. And until next time, live smart, live happy, live awesome.